In this video, we're gonna go over some of the hottest books coming out for the week of September the 13th. And the first book on our list is Batman Gargoyle of Gotham number one. Now this is the first appearance of Crytune and kind of a cool little fact here, this issue was preceded by an Ashcan copy, which was a one per store copy. And that's kind of like a really small version of a comic book. Synopsis reads, a serial killer is on the loose and while the murder victims seem random at first, every clue draws Batman closer to the terrifying truth. They are all connected, not just to each other, but to him. When an all new rogues gallery of utterly depraved villains begins to emerge from the depths of the city, Batman will have to contend with the very nature of evil, including that which lurks inside the darkest corners of his own heart. So it sounds like an interesting book. A number one, you have this new character showing up and let's head over to the League of Comic Geeks. I'm seeing nine different variants. And I think this is gonna be a big book for the week of September the 13th. DC's pushing this with multiple, multiple variants here. And I love this Jim Lee variant. You know, he's kind of looking over the city of Gotham. Fantastic looking cover. There's also a sketch version of it. And then this Priscilla Petratus variant. Really, really cool Batman look. Now some great variants coming out for this book for the week of September the 13th. But I would stick with the regular cover if you're considering Batman Gargoyle of Gotham number one. And if you like these videos, please give us a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. And make sure you stay until the end where we go over some bag issue recommendations. And the second book on our list is World's Finest Teen Titans number three. Now this is the first appearance of Toy Boy, an obsessive fan of Wonder Girl. Titans con, as the Titans fandom converges on Metropolis by the thousands, the team crashes the con as a surprise, knowing it will leave the Titans and their secrets exposed. While Kid Flash and Speedy show off for the crowds, a new teenage villain, the obsessive Toy Boy, shows up to wreak havoc and claim Wonder Girl for his own. It's so kind of a funny, goofy looking cover with the Teen Titans at a Comic Con. You can see, you know, versions of themselves behind there in the costume. And let's head over to League of Comic Geeks. We got four variants for this book. And right off the bat, I like this Dan Pinozian variant. Really kind of cool. You know, you got the Teen Titans in the background, their faces, a little bit more of a realistic artwork a la Alex Ross style. And then the other variant I think I like is this Luciano Vecchio variant. You know, you got some members of the Teen Titans. Looks like they're at a nightclub dancing. But if you're considering picking up World's Finest Teen Titans number three for the speculation for this new appearance, I would stick with the regular cover for the week of September the 13th. And if you're new to the hobby, make sure you download the Key Collector app. It's a great way to look up new comic books, back issues, and a great way to start collecting. And the next book on our list is Batman and Robin number one. Now this is the first cameo appearance of Shush or Shush. Let me know in the comments below if you know how to pronounce that. Father and son, Bruce and Damien, Batman and Robin. A lot has happened to the dynamic duel, but now they are back together and ready to fight crime in Gotham, just in time for Batman's most monstrous rogues to team up to turn the city into an urban jungle. A new villain watches from the shadows, intent on revenge with a plot to turn one of Batman's greatest assets against him. Can Damien help his father solve the case before it's too late? A brand new fun and exciting father and son adventure begins and let's head over to the league of comic geeks and we got a couple art germ variants here with you know that classic sexy girl on the cover a few different sketch covers of batman and robin i really like this one in 100 simone de mio cardstock variant and then you got another one here this kale new cardstock variant batman and robin you know over the city at night so really really cool covers here i don't see anything that indicates this new character i think it's his new villain let me know in the comments what you think about this book so once again, if you're considering this book, I think the safe pick for Batman and Robin number one is cover A, the regular cover. And the next book on our list is Alligator Loki number one. Now this is the first appearance of, you guessed it, Alligator Loki. Synopsis reads, Alligator Loki makes a splash in his print comic debut, bow down to the reptile in a helm who has enraptured the 10 realms with his cuteness. First, Alligator Loki chomped down on Molnir and then he chomped his way into our hearts. Now the beloved alligator of mischief finds and makes trouble all across the Marvel Universe in his very own comic. Let's head over to League of Comic Geeks and I'm seeing three different variants here. I like this one where the alligator Loki is holding up Thor's hammer while he's on the Bifrost here, the Dolly variant. And there's a couple other ones here. You know, we got a Scotty Young variant who always does those little kid versions of the heroes and villains. Some really cool books here. I think the main cover for this book is definitely a safe pick because you have this character, this alligator Loki on the cover. So make sure you check this book out for the week of September the 13th. And the last book we're gonna recommend for the week is X-Force number 44. 
Now this is the first team appearance of the Wolverine Sentinels pictured on the cover. So interesting, Wolverine Sentinels, take a look. Synopsis reads, X-Force no more. Experience the fall of X at its most dire. X-Force is captured, but what power could possibly keep them off the grid and who is to blame? With Sage, Deadpool, and Domino on the outside, will the Wolverine Sentinels beat them to their quarry? Or can X-Force reunite to take down the enemies of mutant kind once and for all? And I only see one variant cover on the League of Comic Geeks. So if you're picking this book up, if you're specking on this book for that first appearance, I would definitely stick with the main cover as it has those characters, those Wolverine Sentinels on the cover. And I also do have two honorable mention books for the week of September the 13th. And the first one is Ghost Rider number 18. This is the origin of Talia War Road. And then the second book on the honorable mention list is Captain Marvel Dark Tempest number three. And that's the first team appearance of the Feral Five. Before we go to our pick of the week, let's go to our long box book. A little bit different this week. Big shout out to Metal Bum, who's been watching our channel. He requests we go over a few of these valuable vintage key books. Make sure you check out his channel. He goes over gold, silver, coins. Really awesome channel. Now we don't have any gold and silver on this channel, but we're gonna go over some silver and bronze age comic books for you, Metal Bum. And the first book he requested a market update on is Strange Tales number 110. Now many of you know, this is the first appearance of Doctor Strange of the Ancient One, Wong, and Nightmare. So a quadruple threat book here. So awesome book from 1963. And let's take a look at some of the pricing here. At the height of the comic boom, we had a CGC 8.5 going for, you know, approximately $26,500. And the most recent sale that I see per GPA analysis was August of this year, 2023. And that sale was for $14,400. So a significant fall of over $10,000. And you're seeing this across the board with most collectible books. You know, during the height of the comic boom 2021, books were just at astronomical prices and now they've kind of come down and they're still going down slightly. Let's go to another grade in this book, you know, a CGC 4.0 in this Doctor Strange book at its height was selling for over $6,000. And now most recently we're seeing it for $3,3400. So... That book has fallen, so a huge drop there. Now, my opinion on this book, Strange Tales 110, this has always been an undervalued book. This is from 1963, so this is in the age of Spider-Man, X-Men, Thor, Iron Man. It's from its early 60s Marvel, and this should cost similar to those. You know, Doctor Strange, not as big a character, but this has got multiple appearances. So this is an undervalued book, and I think it's gonna continue to be an undervalued book, for one reason alone, and that is Doctor Strange is not on the cover of this book. That's the difference between this book and your Amazing Fantasy 15, your X-Men 1, your Journey into Mysteries, you know, the Iron Man. Those guys are all on the cover. And with this book here, unfortunately, Doctor Strange is not. I really think that's why, one of the biggest reasons why this book has never kind of taken off. But if you're looking for a great Silver Age Marvel key book, how can you not look at this book, Strange Tales 110, a multi-threat book? So if you got deep pockets, make sure you check out Strange Tales 110. And the second of three books that Metal Bum requests we go over, Giant Size X-Men number one. Now you all know what this is. This is the first appearance of the new X-Men, Storm, Nightcrawler, Colossus, Thunderbird, and it's also the first appearance of Ileana Rasputin as a child who later becomes magic. And the third appearance of Wolverine, however many sources are gonna say that this is the second full appearance of Wolverine, and then Incredible Hulk 182 is the second cameo. I'm not really gonna get into that because really the important thing about this book are those first appearances. Now this is a heavy hitter book. You know, you got multiple appearances here, X-Men appearances, and they're all on the cover. Now this is one of my favorite books. As you can see here, we got the 9.8, out of the vault for you guys. I always kind of look at this book and Hulk 181 kind of as a barometer as how the market's doing. These books are heavily collected and sought after and there's lots of them available on eBay, online auctions. So you really get a good sense of how the market's doing based on, you know, the trading, the buying and selling of these types of books. Now at the height of the comic boom, I remember this back in, it was spring, summer of 2021. You had some outlandish sales here, especially giant size 9.8. I remember there was a sale as high as $72,000. You know, now a couple of years later, prices have settled down. We're seeing prices closer to $30,000. And most recently, there was a sale in May that I saw for $28,500. So I think the bottom for this book in a 9.8 is around that $27,000, $28,000 mark. And if you go into a more affordable grade, let's take a look at a 5.0. 
you know, at the height of the comic book market, I'm seeing on GPA prices as high as $4,500. And now let's take a look at August, 2023. The market has shifted over the last year, two years. We're seeing that same book going for about $1,600. So a massive drop there. I still think this is a great book to buy for you collectors, investors out there. I mean, giant size number one, multiple first appearances, you know, heavy speculation that hopefully we're gonna get these type of X-Men into the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the near future. So this is another fantastic book here. If you don't have giant size X-Men, number one in your collection, I think this is a great time to consider buying this right now. And the third and last book that Metal Bum requested a market analysis on was Hulk 181. Now we got the 9.2 out of the vault, this is the first full appearance of Wolverine, that classic cover with him battling the Hulk. Fantastic, fantastic book. This is arguably one of the most collected books in the hobby, a huge fan favorite. And this is probably the one book I use to really gauge how the market's doing. This book is always selling, whether it's a hot market, cold market. So you wanna take a look at the prices of this book. It really tells you how healthy the market is. So let's go into GPA analysis once again. And the 9.8, the big book here, I remember at the height of the comic boom. You know, this was selling for six figures. I remember there was a sale of 120,000. I'm seeing one for 138 here. I thought that was outlandish when it sold that high. And now prices have softened. You know, with the market shifting, you're seeing this book in a 9.8 selling for closer to $70,000. So it's come down dramatically here. Let's take a look at a 7.5. Currently, it's selling for about $5,000. I see a recent sale, September 2023. And two years ago, 2021, it was up as high as $10,000. You know, of all the three books that we've mentioned here today, Strange Tales 110, Giant Size X-Men number one, and now this one, Incredible Hulk 181. This is the number one book I would recommend. If you're looking for just one book to buy for investment, for collecting, this has got to be it. This is arguably the most popular book in the hobby. Fantastic looking colors, great characters on the cover. And it's that first full appearance of, come on, Wolverine, one of my personal favorites. And with Hugh Jackman reprising his role as Wolverine in the new Deadpool film, I'm hoping this book kind of gets a little healthy spike here. We'll kind of see what the market is still down. I'm still seeing prices going down on a lot, a lot of books in the hobby. So you wanna be careful right now. It's hard to say exactly what to do right now. Although I would say if you have some valuable books, I would hold, do not sell right now. The market's gonna come back eventually. We just don't know yet. And I know everyone's saying it's a buyer's market. I'm a little hesitant to say if that's true or not. I think you should wait another six to nine months. And I think prices are still gonna fall, maybe another 10 or 15%. So I would hold off. Let's see what happens with prices here. You know, with rates still going up, I think these comic book prices are still gonna come down and soften like I I said another 10 to 15 percent maybe 20 percent on certain books so keep your eyes open make sure you got some cash ready and watch the online auctions you know throw in a low bid you may win some of these books here by a surprise and get a great deal i hope this little market analysis helps you on your comic book journey big shout out once again to metal bomb make sure you check out his channel and my pick of the week for september the 13th i'm gonna go with alligator loki number one and i just really love this cover it's a little bit goofy a little silly but i like it so i'm gonna recommend that book for the week of september the 13th Alligator Loki number one. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below. Tell me what books, what keys you're picking up for the week of September the 13th. Thank you again for watching and we will see you next week.